like a boss. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you ladies how to make a guy chase using non-verbal communication, all right? And look, this is one of the simplest things I've ever learned because I learned, actually, I'm gonna give you the backstory where I learned this from. I learned this from, from a girl that I went out with last week, right? And we went on a date, you know, we went to, we met up at the coffee shop. I was, you looking beautiful. She was also looking beautiful. She's watching, because I told her about this. I, I actually told her that I was gonna make this video, so she must be laughing. She's like, oh my God, it's so cute too, I remember that. No, I'm kidding with you guys. Um, but seriously though, so the way that she talks, she talked in a very unique manner. Not that she talked weirdly, but she just had a very interesting mannerisms. And one of her mannerisms was that when I said something, she would be like, wow. You know, like, let me see if it's charging. Yeah. She would be like, wow. For example, I would say, oh, yeah, man, like, um, Robert Green's a shit. Wow. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know when somebody says, like, wow, you sound crazy. Like, that kind of wow. But in, 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 uh, from her perspective, it wasn't like she was saying, wow, because I'm crazy. Maybe she was. But she was saying wow because maybe it was just a habit. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so another th another thing that she used to do um, was that she used to was that she when when I would say something she would like and I'm like what what the fuck does that mean like what the fuck does that mean right? She was like oh no no I'm just just listening You're like it's just crazy like not like not in a negative way. I think she was I think she didn't like me. <laughs> not that I'm thinking about it. But can you see how it's getting into my head right? So. She used to go like this, like, I would say something like, yeah, man, like, Earth is flat. Okay. Or I would say something that's even logical. Oh, yeah, man, I love playing basketball. Like that, right? And I would like, the fuck, all right? That's, that's another thing that she, she used to do, right? Um, what's another one? Because it's, it's, it's completely fascinating. I'm going to show you guys how to apply it. Another thing that she didn't do, but I know that really gets to people's head, and I'm going to put everything together. I'm just giving you guys an introduction, was... When, when, when she used to talk to me, she, I would, from time to time, she would have like a straight face, like a face like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that, right? So if somebody's listening to you, right, usually the way they do is that they give you feedback with their faces. Oh, okay. But she, most of the time, she was like this a lot of times. Like. And there were times when she laughed. Of course, she was a human being. She had emotions, right? But the point is, is that when during those moments of, it got in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, right? But I, I, I didn't let it get to my head, but I knew what was going on, and I found it very fascinating, so I began noticing those little things. So how do you use this in an interaction with, with your intended target, right? For example, you could use this on a date, and <laughs> this is gonna kill me, I used it on a date later on that day, right? Um, so I went out with a girl later on, and she, in the beginning, she wasn't interested. I was actually in the, on, on the weekend, that was like on a, on a Sunday, right? I went out on a date with a girl, right? She was small, small, a smoking hot, right? And, and I was like, so we were talking, right? And during the first couple of minutes of the interaction, she was, she didn't look that interested, to be honest with you. I was like, damn, this is the, this is one of those days I don't talk about. But then I was like, oh, fuck, I remember that thing she did to me, the other girl. And so I was like, okay, so let me do it. So she was like, she was like, oh, yes, um, and um, and I started working on a project. There's a project on fashion. And I'm like, oh. and she was like, oh, something's going, something wrong with that? No, no, no I keep talking. Oh, 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 okay. Um, and then that would look, and so I started noticing that as soon as I started doing that, she started getting in her head. And I knew, no, it was like little sudden pauses when she was like, and she then continued talking, you see what I'm saying? So, I wanna add on to the video and say that the reason why this gets to people's heads is because we're always looking, we're always vibing for people's reactions. When we say something, we're always looking at people's reactions to see whether or not we're saying the right thing. And so when you give them a, a, an ambiguous reaction, a reaction that can mean two things, you see, that makes them doubt themselves. So they're listening to you, but they're also, they're also looking at where do they stand in your mind? That's how you get into people's heads. You see what I'm saying? And so that's one thing. And, and another thing is that we're always, as humans, if somebody doesn't give us the feedback we want, we try to get that feedback. So if you're, not, if you're talking to someone you're like this, of course they're going to try to make you laugh. Especially if you were laughing earlier. Why, why did he get so serious now? Did I make him stop liking me? Did, 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 why did she stop liking me? Did I did say something that made her stop liking me? Let me say something that's funny. See what I'm saying? And that's because you become a very, you, you become, you become someone that whom you have to stimulate to get a reaction from. Now, you don't do this all the time, but when you do do this, it makes them gay, it makes them want what they once had. 
it's so crazy that I remember when I used to when I used to think about making people chase. You know, I would assume that I was making them laugh. You could, right? But then there's another side of it where you don't do nothing. Where you present to them an ambiguous glance, an ambiguous kind of, um, an ambiguous way of saying things. For example, you can say, wow, and that could be anything. Wow, could mean anything. Like, wow, you're crazy. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Oh, wow, that's interesting. You see? But the point is that you don't try to make them understand, you don't try to give them a clear understanding as to what you're communicating. You can say, wow. And let them fucking guess what the fuck the wow means. You see what I'm saying? So that's one thing you can do. So if you're talking to a girl, from time to time, do that. Go like, if she, if she says something, just go like. She'd be like, oh, I'm the oldest sibling. Oh, wow, for real? Wow, shit. Like, like, holy shit, damn, you're crazy. You see what I'm saying? Or when she's talking to you about something that's very interesting to her, you just look at her like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just look at her like, like a bland look, like bored. I promise you money that if you it, I promise you that if you find this uncomfortable, you're doing the opposite. If you find this uncomfortable, you're doing the opposite. All right. Another example would be if I tell you like um um I don't know like by the way I love to read I love to read a lot and you be like you like to read a lot you see like that like what what do you mean by that you see or another thing you could do um they could say let's say they say something like 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 I hate my mom what what do you mean you hate your mom what do you mean by that. You see, like that, it's kind of like a, a verbal attack. They could, look, if you have good rapport, if the conversation's going well, and then suddenly you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what the fuck, what do you mean by that? Or let's say you're confused and you don't understand what they're saying. Rather than saying, can you say that again? You'd be like, what the fuck you mean? What do you mean? What the fuck, is, what are you talking about? You see, it's kind of like, it's a fucked up thing, but I'm, <laughs> it's, it's just absolutely fascinating how it gets into people's heads. Sometimes when a woman is trying to give a, get a guy to like them, they will say this or that. But in this case, this doesn't require words, but a simple shift in your reaction. That's all we're doing. We're just lowering our reaction, all right? So simply be boring, intentionally be boring, right? Intentionally don't, intentionally be uninterested. Like, it's not like you're really uninterested, but you're communicating this interest. You could be interested in the person. I'm sorry, I'm saying, like, you could really like the person, but just communicate this interest. Like, just, just be interested on the inside, and don't, but don't show it outward. She's gonna sense, she, he or she is gonna sense that there is two kinds of signals that they're getting from you. And that's when they begin getting into the heads. That's when they get into the heads. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, the easiest nonverbal way to make someone chase is a powerful, powerful thing. I tried it once and I saw instant results. I, I, like, it was just, it, it's a beauty. It's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five week course, five week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. Th this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature how to understand their tricks how to prevent from being a too attached signs that he's the wrong guy signs that he's a narcissist signs that he's a mama's boy signs that he's an emotionally available guy emotionally unavailable guy we go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature with over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right? 
$97. We have different packages, but all of this starts at $97. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you can just check it out for free and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I could promise you, just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're gonna love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right. I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.